And we talked about the Phoenix Suns championship aspirations and hopes. But I want to keep talking about the Phoenix Suns health. And I mentioned this in my YouTube short. And I really mean it, you guys. Because, yes, the criticisms are fair. It's not even a criticism. It's just like an opinion. It's just a thing. That is fair to say about that, about the Phoenix Suns, about like, oh, well, you guys have to stay healthy. Bradley Beal has to stay healthy. Kevin Durant has to stay, stay healthy. I get it. But I would respond to that by saying, and I said this in my YouTube short, every team needs to stay healthy. It's true. Injuries suck. Injuries are going to happen. And that's sort of my next segue here. And I want to give a big shout out to somebody who I consider a friend, Trevor Booth from Clutch Points. He is going to be covering the Phoenix Suns this season. He's been doing a great job so far. He's always posting on Twitter. He's always responding to people who follow him. He's following all these people. I've been talking to him a lot. He's a great dude. So big shout out to Trevor Booth. Uh, he, you know, he wrote an article, I think it was like a post-practice kind of thing, but there was a specific segment at the very end. And, and I don't know why this like spoke to me so much. I don't know why. I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but I just think it's interesting. So again, this comes from my guy, Trevor Booth, um, from clutch points here. So this was an actual quote that Kevin Durant said here. Now, let me lower this little banner here so you guys can read it. And, and we're specifically going to focus on the bottom here. So Kevin Durant said he is not. Kevin Durant said he is not focused on rest. And he has not had conversations with coaches about managing an 82-game season. I don't know why I love what he said right here, but this is what he said. And I quote, You try to prevent me from being injured or being out there. I honestly don't know what good that does. Just let me play. Let me repeat that. You try to prevent me from being out there. And honestly, I don't know. Or sorry, I can't read you guys. You guys know that. I can't read. Can't you read? You try to prevent me from being injured or being out there. I honestly don't know what good that does. Just let me play. And then he continues on. And I love what he continued to say here. If we do what we need to do on the floor every night, then we don't have to play 45 minutes a night. When you got a deep team like this, we just got to be ready to play. Whatever happens, happens. I just got to live with it. Close quote. What have conversations been like with the coaching staff about preserving your body and keeping you healthy just through an 82-game season? Yeah, I mean, yeah. some shit's going to happen, it's going to happen, you know? try to prevent me from being injured uh, or, getting, or being out there again. Uh, I don't see what good that does. You know, just let me play. You know, whatever happens, happens, mm -hmm. and just trust that we'll figure it out from there. Uh, but we haven't had any conversation. I mean, if we do what we need to do on the floor every night, then it won't, you know, you don't have to play 45 minutes a night or, you know, 44, you know, when you got a big team like this. So, um, we just got to be ready to play. And whatever happens, happens. I just got to live with it. That is your superstar player, our superstar player, Kevin Durant, first ballot Hall of Famer, NBA champion, Phoenix Sun, Kevin Durant. Real quick, can we just process the fact? Sorry, let me just lower this real quick. Real quick, can we just process the fact that Kevin Durant is a Phoenix Sun and he's going to have his first full season? As a member of the Phoenix Suns, sorry, guys. I need to calm down. Just breathe. Suns geek, just breathe in and out. Calm down. Can we, like, seriously just process that for a minute? Can we also just process the fact that Bradley Beal is playing for our team now? You know what I mean? And Devin Booker is in his prime, and he's a superstar. He is a top 10 player in this league. And you know what? With all this Kevin Durant hype, I have to play this video. Holy crap, you guys. Kevin Durant is coming to the Phoenix Suns. It's 150% guaranteed. Kevin Durant is coming to the Phoenix Suns. 
Yes! If you guys remember the Kevin Durant trade era on this channel, you guys will know that that video is a classic. For those of you who are just joining, shout out to my guy Trevor Booth. This was what Kevin Durant said, and specifically, we're kind of just focusing on the bottom. When he pretty much just said, let me play. We got to be ready to play as a team. If we take care of business each and every single night, you know, we Kevin Durant, Booker, Beal won't have to play 40 plus minutes. And as Kevin Durant said, whatever happens, happens. I just got to live with it. And what that tells me, and maybe you guys read it differently. First off, again, I don't want to sound like a know-it-all, even though I kind of am. I don't want to sound conceited or like I, whatever. But first off, that just goes to show that the only people who really know what's going on are the players, the coaching staffs, the team's doctors and medical staff. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion anyways. We can analyze, criticize, speculate all we want, but at the end of the day, it's the people and the players who really know what's going on. Just saying. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Super Mario Hoops. It says, L LMAO, the explosion edit is crazy. <laughs> Guys, I remember that video like it was yesterday. And I forgot, I mean, oh, actually, I guess I don't remember the video like it was yesterday, but I remember that was when it really did seem like Kevin Durant was going to get traded before it actually happened. And I was just so excited and good times, man. Does, isn't it weird? Doesn't that seem like so long ago when in reality it really wasn't? Because didn't all of that happen in like February? Kevin Durant got traded here the day after Matt Ishbia took owner as the official to, or began his ownership with the Suns, you know. <sighs> wow. I love I love basketball, man. I love the Phoenix Suns. This is this is so good, you guys. Sounds good. Appreciate it. <laughs>